Imagine building a mobile app that works flawlessly, even with no internet connection. No loading spinners, no lost inputs, just a seamless, uninterrupted experience. That's what Offline First Architecture offers. It's not just a technical decision, it's a commitment to building for real world conditions, where connectivity can't be taken for granted. Most apps are built assuming that users are always online. But that's far from reality. Think about commuters on subways, users in rural areas, or travelers with spotty networks. An offline first design ensures that your app continues to function, regardless of the network status. This leads to better user trust, higher retention, and accessibility in places where other apps fail. At the heart of offline first architecture lies one principle sync over save. Instead of instantly sending every change to the server, your app should save it locally first, then sync it in the background once the device is back online. This approach means your app must handle versioning, conflicts and retries, but it also means smoother, more resilient user experiences. To implement this, you need the right tools. User sync storage or MMKV for fast, reliable local storage for persisting Redux state. Redux Persist is a solid choice. Need a full database solution. Look at WatermelonDB or RxDB to detect connectivity changes and trigger retries. Combine NetInfo with a robust sync engine. All of this works together to make your app bulletproof offline. Your architecture should follow a three-layer model. First is the local store, which handles immediate reads and writes for the user. Next is the sync engine, which watches connectivity, queues changes and batches them for efficiency. Finally, the remote API layer handles sending data, receiving diffs and resolving conflicts. Each layer is modular and testable, built for scale. Let's take a real example, a simple note-taking app. A user creates a note titled, Meeting Notes. It's saved locally first, then added to the sync queue. When the network becomes available again, the note syncs to the server. If anything changed on the server, the app resolves those differences automatically, without the user ever needing to intervene. It feels instant, even when it's not. Of course, conflicts will happen, especially in collaborative apps. You need a conflict resolution strategy. Common options include last write wins, where the most recent change wins, server wins where the backend decides, or ask the user where your app presents both versions and asks what to keep. For most cases, a hybrid solution offers the best balance. What about media files like images? Offline image handling can be tricky. Store the image locally first using file system libraries like React Native FS. Then when online, upload the image to S3 or your server via a signed URL. Always compress before syncing to save bandwidth and ensure smooth uploads in poor network conditions. To make this efficient and secure, follow best practices, batch API calls instead of sending them one by one. Encrypt local storage if you're handling sensitive data. Use React Native Background Fetch to run sync jobs while the app is idle. And never rely on direct fetch calls, queue changes and retry them until successful. Ensuring your app remains reliable. Offline first isn't just a coding pattern, it's a mindset. It teaches you to design with resilience. To think in queues instead of assumptions and to prioritize user experience, no matter the circumstances. If you're serious about building apps for the next billion users, this approach is no longer optional. Want a complete code demo? Drop a comment below and let me know.